Happy July 4th, 2013 from Excel-Templates.com. Please visit this website, Excel-Templates.com, so you're sure to get the latest posts, tips, and tricks to make awesome Excel dashboards. All right, uh, today for July 4th, I wanted to create a flag using a standard Excel chart, and you can see the sample I've got here. Um, and this is done as a stacked bar chart. Uh, so if I click in here, you'll see that uh, we've got a full column of white, we've got a full or bar of white, full bar of red. They're all stacked on top of each other. But up here we have bars of blue with bars of red on top of them. And then also I've created these stars using my insert menu and creating the star shape, changing them to white. And then I have an XY series that plots each one of these stars. Uh, let me show you how I went about making that. Uh, so as you can see here, I've got my data all set up. Uh, so we have 13 rows that represent the flag. We have um, a section where red uh, is um, created as a full row of red. We also have a full row of white. These are down on rows 8 through 13. Uh, as I'm looking at my chart, I'm realizing I could have probably done this without these two columns and just put these over in columns E and F. Uh, it would have done the same thing, but uh, no worries, it'll still work the way we've done it. Um, then uh, for the first seven rows of the flag, there are blocks of blue, and I've put that, instead of being a full bar of blue, done about 40% there, then the remaining uh, up to 100% is going to be red in those alternating rows or white in those alternating rows. And so we're going to do a stacked bar chart to create this. So let's go ahead and do that off the bat. And so we're going to create this by highlighting rows A2 through F15. We're going to go up to our insert ribbon. We're going to do a bar chart. And then right here we have a stacked bar chart. That's the one we want to choose. Let me move that up just a little bit so you can see it. Now, um, we don't need the uh, uh, legend, but let's keep it for now. Uh, the first thing we want to do is we want to change this horizontal axis to be maxed out at 1. So I'm going to click on that axis, I'm going to right click on it, and do Format Axis. And I want to change the minimum to be 0 and the maximum to be 1 total. And let's click on Close. Now, um, see, on a stacked bar chart, row 1 is always at the bottom because it's next to the horizontal axis, and it goes up from there. So we want to reverse the order of this axis, and you do that by right-clicking on the axis, click on Format Axis, and then we want to choose Categories in Reverse Order right here in the middle. Click on that and click on Close. Now, you can see uh, these is looking a little bit more like a flag. This green area here is the blue section. So let's go ahead and uh, make that our blue section now by clicking on that, then right clicking, doing Format Data Series. We want to change the fill type to a solid fill, and we want to choose a blue color. So there, let's choose that blue color. Click on Close. Now we want to do the same thing for every other red or white row. So let's click on the first one, and this is a red bar because it starts at the top. Format Data Series. I'm just going to move this off to the side a little bit. We want to go to the Fill. We want to choose Solid Fill, and we want to change that to Dark Red. Uh, and that next one is white. Let's click on that one. Choose Fill Color. Notice we did not have to get rid of the menu. Just going to choose a Solid Fill Color of white. And then uh, let's go back to our Series Options. You see we've got separated and overlapped at 100%. We want to make no gap. We want to make a gap with zero. And let's click on close and take a look at what our chart's shaping up to be. You can see we've got the blue with the red or white stacked on top of it. Uh, now I just need to change the bottom ones here to red or white. We do a fill color, solid fill uh, of white. And then I'm going to choose the red ones, do a solid fill of red. Okay, let's take a look at our chart. Now I think we can get rid of this legend since we see what everything's doing right there. Um, and uh, it's looking pretty much like a flag. We can probably get rid of our vertical axis. Uh, but before I do that, I'm going to leave that because we're going to show you how to add the stars in this blue section. Um, so what I've done is I uh, took a look and said, okay, so in the blue section we're going from 0 to 0.4. And let me go up here and show you this formula right up here at the very top. Um, so I went 0.4 divided by 12. That gives us, since we have, um, uh, if we go back and look at the other flag that we've already created, 
Um, so if this is 0 to 0.4, we have a space and we have a star. And we have a space and we have a star. So since there's six stars at our maximum and spaces on either side, I figured we needed about 12 to be our spacing um, to be a blank and then a star, a blank and then a star. So let's go ahead and look back here. So that's 0 0.0333 repeating. And what I did for our x's is um, I created a formula that says let's take a look at g1 and multiply that times our current row. In this case, it's the third row. I'm going to subtract 2 and a half and I'm going to multiply that all times 2. That ultimately gives me 0 0.03 and uh, I ended up copying that formula down. Let's see if I might have changed it down below. So, and then in the five star series, if we go back to our flag, you'll see that this middle row here is one, two, three, four, five stars. So it's not going to be quite the same spacing. We need an extra little bit of space in there. So I made that formula uh, equal to G4. So if I click in there, you'll see what it is equal to. I'm just going to do an interpolation between these two points. Um, so it's 3, 0.03 plus 0.1 divided by 2. That's going to give me an interpolation of 0.7, and that's how I'm going to set up the alternating rows to be in between the other stars. Then uh, for my y's, I'm going to show you how we go about making this here in a second when I add um, the next one. But if we take a look at the pr previous flag, remember there's 13 rows, so 12 is going to be right here in the middle of this. Uh, white and red stripe and so we want this to be halfway in between 12 and 13 and so that's why I'm choosing 12 and a half there so let's go back and so I've got 12 and a half for the first six stars uh, then that next middle row is uh, gonna be 0.75 below that to get into the middle of the next one and that, I just had to fiddle with this number until I kind of got the right value um, but let's show you how I make those stars First thing we want to do is we want to go up to our insert ribbon. From our insert ribbon, we want to choose shapes. Then in shapes, there is a star. Let's see, down here in stars and banners, five point star. Click on that, then go into your spreadsheet anywhere you want, just not typically within the chart, and draw out your star. I gotta make it kind of small. So I've clicked and dragged and made the star. There's that blue star right there. Now if I click on that blue star, we're going to change the colors to that to be white here in a minute. Um, and then, uh, but first, so we don't lose it, we'll keep that there for now. Otherwise, it's hard to see on a white background. So what we want to do is just go anywhere in your spreadsheet, click on any cell at all, go up to our insert ribbon. Um, I'm sorry. What we want to do is we want to go into our chart itself, click in the chart itself. Then let's go up to the design ribbon. From the design ribbon, you have a select data series. And we want to click on select data and we want to add a new data series. So let's just go ahead and add it and we're going to call it stars. And I click on, um, go ahead and rename it stars. And the series value is equal to one. That's fine. We don't need to do anything else but that. Let's click on OK. Now, if you don't know how to find an unfindable series, go to my blog and search for it. I have a video on that as well, I believe. Um, go, what we want to do is we want to click on the chart. We want to go up to our format ribbon. And then in our chart area here, we want to choose uh, the stars series. Now I've chosen the star series in here. You can't really see it, um, but we want to change this to an XY scatter chart. So we're going to go up to our insert ribbon. We're going to choose the scatter button. And then there's this one here, scatters with only markers. And we're going to choose that one. Now you can see it's put this point way out here over on the right. It's at one and it's added that to the secondary uh, axis. So what we want to do is we want to move that uh, point now that it's an x, y, and give it the x's and the y values. So what we want to do is go up to our design ribbon, then go to select data. From select data, choose the stars button, or I'm sorry, the series. Click on edit, and you now see we have x's and y's, which we didn't have before because it thought it was a bar chart. So in our x's, we're going to go in here and choose our 50 points for our stars. And in our Y's, backspace that, we're going to choose the Y's that we have in column H. We're going to click on OK. Click on OK again. Scroll up and see the chart. And look at that. It has placed all of our um, stars, even though they're not stars yet, they're just markers in the chart. And you notice they're off just a little bit here in the blue section. 
That's because we haven't fixed the right hand uh, secondary access. It's added some extra space in there that we really don't need. Let's right click on that, do format access. Then let's fix this to zero and 13. Click on close. Now our stars line up within that whole blue section. Uh, we can end up getting rid of all of our axes. So I'm going to click on each axis and just hit the delete key. Now I want to go over and select that blue star that I had already created for my shapes menu. And we want to change the fill of this. So we want to click on the format ribbon. We want to change the shape outline to a white color. And we want to change the shape fill to a white color. And you can see it, it was probably going to be gone now. Notice it's gone. It's still there. It's just you can't see it on the white background. I'm going to hit Control C and go into the chart. I'm going to click on one of those dots, uh, that are the markers that represent our stars. Control V to paste. And lo and behold, we now have a US flag within an Excel stacked bar chart with a combination XY scatter with markers only. Wanted to show you that quick, uh, cool little technique I thought uh, was interesting. You can use lots of these techniques to create your own dashboard charts. Please remember to visit my blog at ExcelDashboardTemplates.com. Also, don't forget to sign up as a YouTube subscriber so that you're sure to get the latest video delivered directly to your inbox. And happy 4th of July.